With Halo Combat Evolved recently being re-released onto the PC, I'm sure you guys are returning to this game. So in this video, I'm going to give you the top 8 tips to instantly improve at Combat Evolved's multiplayer. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you a little tips and trick video when it comes to Combat Evolves multiplayer. If you like these tips and trick videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. So let's get right into the topic here. So I'm going to give you 8 things to help you instantly improve at this game. I don't actually involve you having to be an amazing shot, just better knowledge of the game. So the 8 things we're going to be talking about guys, we're going to be talking about magnum accuracy and how to improve that, backpack reloading, how to time power weapons, and the variations that you might find with that, uh, picking up weapons through geometry which is actually very possible various nade spots quick camo grenade reloading and how to avoid taking fall damage so let's get right into the content here Okay, so for this first clip, I'm going to show you guys how the spread works on the Magnum. Either you can shoot it fully auto, which I learned recently, or you can shoot it in single fire, much like in the Halo 5 Magnum. The difference is that when you hold down the trigger, you get the full spread effect, which actually doesn't bother your aim too much when it comes to close range engagement, say if someone's going for a melee. But if you're trying to be as accurate as possible at mid long range, you're going to want to tap that fire button you can tap it as fast as you can actually hold down the trigger fully auto so it's one thing to keep in mind as you can see the comparisons here are night and day difference between spread where i'm just holding down the trigger and spread of when i'm tapping it sometimes when you're tapping too fast it can get a little squirrely on you like that last one but for the most part it's gonna be straight as an arrow Tip number two is backpack reloading. If you don't know what that is, basically you're able to reload while you're switching to your other weapon. The way you do this is that you shoot your rounds, double tap the reload button, switch to your other weapon, and you're able to fire again right away. As you can see right here, I'll shoot a few shots with the sniper rifle. As you can see right here, shoot, shoot, and double tap reload, switch to your magnum, keep on shooting, double tap reload again, switch back to your your uh, sniper and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. You don't actually have to go through the reload animation. You can hear the audio of the weapon reloading as well. So it gives you that audio cue when you're able to switch back. If you switch too soon, then it will be back to having where it was before and you have to reload again. Another way to instantly improve at Halo Combat Evolves multiplayer is to understand timing up of power weapons and power ups. Those are going to be absolutely crucial and tide turning things to help you improve your game instantly. It you know, I've have found huge success by just being able to know when the time, like the rocket, like the sniper, and the the OS and the camo properly, to where I can tell the advantage into my favor when it comes to these gunfights. If you guys do not know that the CE timers are static, meaning that every 30 seconds or every two minutes, every three minutes, they're going to be respawning. Not like how it is in Halo 3, Reach, or even some parts of Halo 5 as well, that they're just going to keep popping up at the same time, no matter what. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind, guys. So basically, a good rule of thumb is that the overshield and camo respawn about every 60 seconds on most maps. The rocket launcher usually respawns every two minutes, and the sniper rifle respawns every 30 seconds. For the most part, there are some variations to certain maps. I'll leave the link in the description down below to halo.bungie.org that gives you a respawn breakdown of every single map. Uh, but just keep a good, a good rule of thumb, guys. Every two minutes for rockets, 30 seconds for snipe, and every minute for a power-up is very important to keep in mind when it comes to this. Now, it's also very good to just jump into a custom game and just kind of figure out where those spawn locations are, and you'll be instantly improving your game there to take full advantage of these power-ups and power weapons. Now that we're on the subject of power weapons, there's a very crucial thing you can actually do in CE is actually pick up power weapons through map geometry. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you an example right here. So on Prisoner, you'll probably see a lot of people go this typical route when it comes to going to grab for the rocket launcher. This is the noob way if you want to think about that. You can actually just, what you can do is jump, hold down your weapon pickup and pick it up through the geometry of the map. Uh, you can also do this apparently I've seen with health packs as well and just various other kind of things as well. So if you see something right above you and you can touch it, you can actually just grab right through the geometry. Same thing here on Hang em High. These are the two uh, geometry kind of breaking tricks I use the most. See right there, never want to walk that on that catwalk and hang them high, it's a death trap. So you can just jump on this pedestal right here, pick up the rockets underneath the catwalk right there, and you'll be slaying the noobs in no time. 
Now here's an interesting little trick I recently found out while looking up information on how to get better at CE's multiplayer. There's a thing called quick camo, which basically, if you guys know, obviously when you're shooting your weapon, that you will be, you know, taken out of camo and you fade back in, right? But there are some weapons, if you're holding them, will actually fade you faster back into camo than others. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm shooting this Magnum. I picked up the shotgun because the shotgun's one of the weapons right here. You can see how quickly you go back into full camo compared to where you're using the Magnum. Now think of it as when I'm using the Magnum, now I shoot off a few shots completely out of camo, and you can see that time duration is much longer, but if I kind of shoot a few shots and then switch right back to my shotgun, I'm instantly back in camo. The weapons you can do this quick camo trick are the assault rifle, shotgun, and plasma rifle. Everything else kind of goes back to your normal fade time, so keep that in mind when grabbing the camo in CE. Another little trick, much like backpack reloading, that helps you continually throw out damage while taking care of other parts when you comes to playing the game, much like that, you have grenade reloading, which which happens when you press the reload and grenade button at the exact same time. You will throw a grenade out and do the reload animation. That way you can continually throw out damage, keep players off there, you know they're coming around a corner, and reload your weapon by the time that grenade is done exploding. They can come around, your weapon's fully reloaded, you're able to continue out the damage. As you can see right here, throwing out a grenade while reloading. You press them at the same time, you're going to be doing extra damage. Keep on throwing it out there for keep those noobs off of you. With many of CE's maps having very different elevation changes, you come across the issue of taking fall damage. As you saw me just right there, take some damage on my shields from falling too high up. Well, there's a way to actually negate that. If you crouch right before you land, you're able to negate that. As you can see right here, crouch right at the last second, no fall damage taken. Very important trick to know when it comes to jumping down to like when the situation damnation, jumping for the rockets. So keep that in mind when traversing these maps. Now, one of my favorite things to do in Combat Evolved is to be able to nade weapons to you. If you guys are Halo 5 fans, you might remember that medal called Combat Evolved, and it comes from this game, where it's a very common trick on most of the maps. There is some kind of way to nade a power weapon your way, be it the sniper, sometimes the rockets, or even the power-ups as well for nade for camo or OS. Both work really well. These are some of the more common nade spots you should definitely learn and take some time to get good at because being able to pick up the sniper like that from top mid on hang em high is absolutely crucial and this is super fun to do and be able to pull stuff like this off and so i just definitely suggest jumping into some custom games and testing this out guys this is just what i did uh there's plenty of other nate spots that i didn't bother to show these are the much more common ones uh we'll leave a link in the description down below to halo nades.com that give you pretty much every single one if you want to get down every single one because it really just kind of comes down to like the grenade the angle you're throwing it at and everything in between on what kind of map and stuff like that so uh, if you guys want to get down these just I would suggest maybe just slowing down the video pausing where I'm actually aiming and it'll actually really help you out a lot when it comes to getting weapons you're coming your way without actually having to go to them uh, especially like ones like on Beaver Creek right here it's so hard to get on top of that arch to grab those rockets but you can, what you can do just be on top of the red base and just need them right to you just like that it's super easy well not I would say super easy but it's super useful definitely worth taking your time getting these down uh, especially when it comes to playing like these social matches not a lot of people understand even where these power weapons spawn much less how to do these kind of things uh, i would only expect to see this much more higher level gameplay and so i definitely want to get these down to help you guys get that extra advantage while playing combat evolved multiplayer on pc it's been like I said, guys, one of my favorite things to do. It's just such a cool little trick you can do and see. I suggest getting this down. So those are the eight tips I have for you guys to instantly get better at Combat Evolved. As like I said, guys, it doesn't exactly really matter how well you shoot in Halo. It's about how well you know how to play the game. If you know how to shoot the Magnum, if you know how to backpack, reload, time power weapons, quick camo, how to pick up certain power weapons, def nading different power weapons to you as well, it will absolutely instantly increase your ability to do well in these games. I've certainly taken advantage of it. It's fun. It's a little quirky kind of part about combat evolved i certainly do enjoy playing so if you guys like these uh tips and trick videos please make sure to tap that like button let me know if you want to see some more content like this if you want to see more of these leave a comment in the comment down below i do read all comments and try to reply to most of them as well and if you're new to the channel i want to stay updated with everything going on in halo that's news tips and tricks information everything in between make sure you tap subscribe guys keep yourselves up to date if you're new to the channel or miss any content for me check out the videos on the screen right now and i'll catch you all in the next video
Peace out.